Hello, I'm Kenny Keller, the creator of Helicopter Online Ground School, and this is a short impromptu video to answer a member question about the Robinson R22 weight and balance section inside our Helicopter Online Ground School. And I knew somebody was going to ask this question. We go through the weight and balance terms, and then I go through a sample weight and balance that I built. And as much as I hate weight and balance, it's a necessary part and something that we have to do. We all struggle with weight and balance, or most of us do anyway. I just logged in the site a little bit ago, and she just asked this question. Kenny, good teaching video. Could you do another video and show a picture of the helicopter POH and where you're getting these numbers from? I knew somebody was going to ask that question, which that's fine. That's a good, it's a great question. So the answer is our handy dandy pilot's operating handbook. Section six, the weight and balance section, will have the numbers for your specific aircraft. Now, depending on whether you're flying at a small school or a big school, most schools already have a weight and balance form made up for you. And it's already got the numbers plugged in that you're going to need. And those numbers come from the POH for that specific helicopter. And right there is an example of one of those. This is a sheet that I had from a previous R22 that I've flown. And so I just took the numbers right from that sheet. So there are times where, like I recently went and flew an Enstrom turbine aircraft to do some testing for some avionics. You know, it's a privately owned aircraft, and of course there's no weight and balance sheets there for me, so I just sit down, open up the POH, go through it, find the curtain weight and balance, and find the numbers, and work my way through it. It took me probably a half an hour doing it cold and never doing it with that aircraft, and it was kind of a pain, but it's, it's what we have to do. We have to figure the weight and balance to make sure that we're going to stay within center of gravity during our entire flight. And if the FAA just happens to show up, they're going to want to know that you have a weight and balance figured for your aircraft and know, you know what your limits are for that day, for the fuel load that you have and passengers, so on and so forth. So this is the presentation that she's talking about right here. And it's the numbers that I have in red are the numbers that are already basically prefigured numbers. The blue numbers are what we're figuring as we're going through working this specific problem for this aircraft. The bottom line is, as long as you remember that weight times arm equals the moment, and that the moment divided by the weight equals the arm, you can pretty much work any weight and balance problem for any aircraft. Again, it's a little unhandy if you don't have a sheet that's pre-made up, but it can be do it as long as you remember the formulas for working the weight and balance. And for those of you that aren't members, we do have a complete R22 section inside Online Ground School. We have 10 sections numbered, and you can see here on the side, it goes right down the list, general section, limitations, emergency, procedures, it goes right down the list. So when you're working through here, you can just go down step by step. You go to the first one general, go to limitations, go to emergency procedures, and each section has a video. It also has an MP3 download below the video. So you can watch the video a couple times if you want, once or twice, and then if you want to download the MP3 file to take with you when you're on the, on the road driving, a lot of our customers that's what they do. They download the MP3 files. You know, they watch the videos, but then they, you know, download the MP3 so that when they're driving to their helicopter lesson, they've got something they can plug in and, and listen to while they're driving. Which again is part of the reason that I built this entire thing back when I started flying in the late '90s and struggling through all my ratings. I was always thinking, man, I wish I had something I could listen to in the car. With all this driving I did, two hours to a lesson, two hours from a home, or two hours back home again. I would have loved to have something like this when I was training. So if you're interested in learning more about our training site, in the description box, click the link for helicopterground.com and go right to our website. And you can investigate and find out some information there about it. And then there's also the test drive you can take. And that's a self sign up at this time where you can just click on it, sign up for 24 hours, go in and take a look around, see what you think. And each day, first thing I do is log into the site to see what kind of questions are there. So if you are inside there and you have a question, just leave a comment, leave us some feedback, and we'll take care of any questions that you may have. So thanks for taking the time to check out our video. Please give us a like, give us comments, share, feedback. You know the drill. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.